would like to do for, with you before our video lesson is finished is, oops, I set my old camera there, but this one's smaller. So I have to remember to put it up on the top. I would like to introduce to you without the music. I'm going to try to teach this first part to you what we call rote. Like I'm going to show it to you and I would like you to try to practice the A section. That's just, I don't know if we've marked enough pieces by form wise, but we label A, B, C, D, that kind of thing, depending on what's the same and what's different. And a lot of times pieces that we play are A, B, A. So you have the A comes back at the end of the piece after you do something a little bit different. And that's the way this piece is. This is going to be not overly hard for you. You know how to do everything in this piece. It's just longer than any of the things we play. But this is what I'd like you to do for the recital, which I'm guessing you probably went to Melissa so you know we have one at my church in May. And I like it if you can memorize the piece. This has a, an accompaniment part that goes along with it. So you might even be able to get your sister to play with you. Otherwise, I can play with you. But it uses some of the, what we were just talking about, the arpeggio crossing overhand. And it's just a broken C chord. Remember, that's what we were putting on when you did your five finger scale. I'm going to move the um, camera over here so you can watch my hands. When we did the five finger scale. <laughs> in the fives which is just fine because in this piece you're going to start with playing the one in five triad like this and then you're going to play a broken C chord and that's your first little phrase so you're doing the fifth broken chord cross your two over and then you're stepping down five four three two go to left hand do that one more time. Stepping. The second phrase is almost exactly the same, except we are going to end with a half note at the, at the end of the phrase. Watch. Doing the stepping down, but holding that D. So, from the beginning, the first two I'm going to just move this a little bit to make sure my fingers are really in the... Like I said, I'm still getting used to this new camera, and I'm not sure exactly where, what it's getting where. All right, so here's one more time. You're going to play your fifth. And just so you can see, what I'm doing is I am playing the left hand, then I go like this two over the camera will help me and then I'm stepping down watch left hand one is going to play this note right here I'll play the fifth again one or two comes over this time I hold the D I have to say I've never really taught a piece like this before so I'm ho like on a video so I'm hoping that um, we'll see if this works or not okay so what you can do is you can push pause on your video and practice that for just a little bit. Now what you're going to do is keeping your hands in the same position, I'm going to move the camera back here. This is the um, second line, which is the long phrase. So we had just had two short phrases, now we have a long phrase. It utilizes mostly skipping so you have a skip down, okay, let me do that again for you. We're starting with our three and we're skipping down. the camera and practice that a little bit. Finally what happens is we're going to repeat those 
same two lines with just a little bit. The next line is exactly the same. This one. Did you notice where it was different? Up to this part. happens is I'm going to take my 2 on D and go 2 to my 1 on, on C. So I'm going Re, Do, and then I'm going to finish with that bass C. That's the one that we just learned. Okay, so one more time I'm going to do the whole thing. This is the whole A section. your A section of the new piece is called somersaults. Hopefully you can kind of see a little bit of that movement like a somersault. That's the A section and then depending on how well you do that you've got a great ear so I have a feeling that you're gonna be able to pull that together okay. Then at your next lesson I'll send the music home with you but we'll start on the B section which is again just eighth notes and fifths, some fifths in the left hand so nothing terribly challenging but I think you're gonna have fun with this piece so Enjoy practicing it.